welcome to this, the second video on how to design databases properly. My name's Andy Wicks and we're going to look at the first stage in a six step process. These six stages will take you through designing a database that is properly relational, that will allow easy use and easy updating. Let's have a look at the scenario. You've been asked to design a database by the owner of a second-hand bookshop. The owner would like to be able to track books bought and sold. At the moment, a card is inserted into each book when it comes in. The card has a number on it, and this number refers to an entry in a list of books in the shop. This list is used when a customer comes in and asks for something specific. So, for example, I'd like a science fiction book, or I'd like a book by a particular author. This is quite inefficient, and so it'd be nice to have a well-designed database. So, talking to the owner has generated some questions. The owner would like to know how much has been sold between a particular date and another date. So, say in the last month or the last year. The owner would also like to know what they've spent between this date and that date. They purchase books from auctions or possibly from individuals who come in and, with a pile of books and say, do you know what, I really want that book up there on that shelf. Customers come in and demand different categories. The owner needs to know which categories are moving fastest so that they have a better idea of which books to get. And which books do I have in a particular category is useful when a customer comes in and asks for something specific. I'd like a science fiction book or I'd like a book that's funny. Then there are the customers who come in and say, have you got and ask for a particular book. It'd be nice not to have to trawl through the ledger. And then, which books do I have by a particular author? Well, that would require going through the ledger again if it's on a manual system. But a good database would be able to bring up the full list of everything that's on st in stock. So, what is an object? Well, this particular video looks at exactly this problem. An object is something that you can touch. So, for example, a book. You can touch a book. It can be a list of things. We'll come on to that one in just a moment. It can also resolve a many-to-many -many relationship. A good relational database must not have many-to-many -many relationships, and we're going to get rid of those in our database design. Now, let's have a look at the first object, the book. A book is something that you know. It's something that you can understand. And then comes along a fat, ugly old man and asks you, well, what is a book? Now, I'm not talking about magazines and that. That could be something else. But a book, is that a specific book on the shelf? In other words, a book that you can touch. Or is it a book such as Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix? There might be three or four copies of that on the shelf. Well, I would suggest that the copy on the shelf is the book. And what we really have is another object, a listed item, called a title. Now, you can't poke a title, but you can list the titles. And so this is a different type of object. So going by the questions that the user of the database wanted answered, what other things do we need? Well, we need to know the author of a book so that when a customer comes in, we can find books by a particular author. We need to think about the category of book. So, so a customer comes in, and ask for a book on science fiction, or a book that's both science fiction and humorous. Finally, we need to look at the purchases that we make. We need to keep track of those so that we can say how much we've spent. Now, once we have these, this list of objects, we are ready to start. 
but be aware that you will not generate the full list of objects until you've completed the full process. Things will always crop up where you think, gosh, I need another object on. And that's fine. That's part of the process. You shouldn't expect to get everything straight away.